Buenos días a todos. Buen día. Os voy a presentar a los Good morning, everybody. First, let me introduce my colleagues here at the table. On my right, Alicia Romero, who is a good friend of the association and collaborates in a great many of the events that we hold. On my left is Mr. Santos Santa Maria, who is the father of the police officer of the Mossu squad that was murdered by ETA in Rosas. Mr. Santa Maria was the president of the association and currently he is on the board of the association. On the 17th of August, the act itself will be brief, but we want it to be both meaningful and emotional. A manifesto will be read, which will last no longer than two minutes. There will then be a laying of wreaths and flowers during which the association's hymn will be played. Following this, a soprano singer from Paris, who is a relative of Alicia's, will sing Schubert's Ave Maria. We will then keep one minute silence before bringing the ceremony to a close. We are not just concerned with victims of terrorism in Catalonia, of which there are many. But last year we said to Al Jazeera Channel, you too, because it's all too easy to forget. Their people are murdered every day by an absolutely insane form of terror. Our attacks are reported by the press and we pay tribute to them, whilst those other countries, in those other countries, nobody pays tribute to them and yet they are also victims. For those that die anonymously and for others whose plight we can raise awareness about, it is for all of them who really did not deserve to lose their lives due to a brutal, insane attack that cannot ever be justified in any way. For all of them, we will be there on the 17th of August in honour of all these poor souls who lost their lives. Nor must we forget that some people try to change the focus of attention at these events. It isn't right to take advantage of the victims. We must only honour them and show support for their families. This is what we do. It is the families who are left grieving for their loved one often. The very least these acts can do is to revive their honour and remember the terrible misfortune of having lost a loved one. A ceremony of remembrance and memory to keep that memory alive. To do so is vitally important because it means that society won't forget what happened and we can't let ourselves forget what happened because fundamentally terrorist attacks are not directed at anyone in particular but rather they are against society as a whole.